Almost a month ago, we witnessed one of the largest gatherings of individuals who love motorcycles and love the freedom of the open road. You've probably guessed by now that we're talking about the Sturgis Rally. Well, not everyone gets a chance to go through with this event, and you need to know a few tips and tricks to get out of there without incident. Hello and welcome to our channel. Today, we're going to tell you five things about the Sturgis Rally. So, let us begin. Now, before we start with something else, let us explain what exactly the Sturgis Motorcycle Rally is. On August 14, 1938, the inaugural Sturgis Motorcycle Rally was conducted. The Jack Pine Gypsies, a local motorcycle club, were responsible for organizing the rally by purchasing and improving the land on which it would be held. In its early years, the Sturgis Rally was primarily concerned with races and stunts, which served as a means of gauging and rewarding riders' abilities, bravery, and inventiveness. Hill climbs and motocross racing were added to the rally scene in the 1960s. The event's massive popularity can be attributed to the increasing number of dangerous stunts performed for spectators, such as half-mile track racing, ramp leaps, head-on automobile wrecks, and board wall crashes. Only in 1942, at the height of the Second World War, did the Sturgis Motorcycle Rally not take place. The Sturgis Motorcycle Rally continues to attract riders and spectators from all around the United States and the rest of the world. Rally organizers reported a record-breaking attendance of 739,000 people in 2015, with many families bringing recreational vehicles and making the last journey to Sturgis via motorcycle. Along with stunts and other such gimmicks, concerts soon began to take place, and this year, Snoop Dogg also made an appearance, along with a plethora of other artists and bands. Now, Let's get into some of the things that you need to be aware of. Number 1. Where should you live? It's up to you to decide where to stay in Sturgis during the rally. However, staying at a campground like the Sturgis Buffalo Chip is the best way to get the full, classic Sturgis rally experience. Campgrounds by bikers for bikers have been around for a while, but the Buffalo Chip was the first. It was the first place where bikers and music lovers could get together at the annual Sturgis Rally before the city of Sturgis banned bikes from the area. Concerts by prominent acts like Kid Rock, ZZ Top, and Shine Down have helped it evolve into a top-tier entertainment complex. RVing is an option in addition to tent camping, offering tent sites, log cabins, suites, and even teepees with all the comforts of a city. Shade Valley, Kickstands, the Drag Pipe Saloon, the Iron Horse Campground, the Glencoe Camp Resort, the Steel Pony Campground, Hog Heaven, Lamphere, and many more nearby locations offer camping and lodging options. Number 2. Have a plan for what you're going to do. Even though Sturgis seems to be a hub of activity, there may not be much to see or do there if you don't have the right sort of plan. Follow through on your intentions. Stay at the Buffalo Chip if you're ready for wild nightlife and little sleep. There'll be truck and bike racing, swimming, concerts, games, motorbike exhibitions, and vendors. But the price of a wristband will set you back several hundred dollars. It's not as easy to hop in and out of different locations during this rally as it would be at others. Dropping in at various stations when inebriated is both costly and risky. It's easy to miss out on the action if you hop around from bar to bar. Few establishments publish their daily schedules online, or anywhere else for that matter. Number 3. Watch out for deer and cops. Both police and deer come out around sunset. The local law enforcement seems to earn their bonus pay during this week, when they may be found camped out between outlying bars like Full Throttle and Buffalo Chip, where the speed limit is only 35 miles per hour. They're out in full force to catch inebriated motorists and those who break the speed limit. If you don't want to receive a ticket from the police as a memento of your trip, don't do anything reckless, not even rolling past a stop sign or going 5 miles per hour over the speed limit. 
In the meantime, the rally is set in the rural countryside, where you'll frequently be surrounded by woods where deer may dart out in front of you. Two of them ran away when they heard the cars ahead of us. Number 4. Summer is a busy time to travel. Hotel rooms near popular destinations like Mount Rushmore and Custer State Park in the Black Hills region sell out quickly. So if you're planning a trip to Sturgis, South Dakota, or the surrounding area, book your accommodation as far in advance as possible. Need a spot to pitch a tent or park an RV with full hookups immediately? Eh, not likely. Tent and RV campers should not assume they can show up at the last minute and set up camp. Booking your camping spot early is highly recommended as they're in high demand during the event. You can still find a place to stay or camp if you fly by the seat of your pants, but it may take more work. It's also possible that you'll have to remain further north or south of western South Dakota's spectacular sites. A great place to stay is the Hotel by Gold Dust in Deadwood if you're interested in staying in the northern part of the state. This brand new boutique hotel offers the best of both worlds, with all the modern conveniences you expect from any hotel and the historic charm that Deadwood is famous for. Or you could drive even farther afield and stay near Devil's Tower, just across the state line in Wyoming. However, all of that is pretty expensive. So, just consider camping, like we told you guys earlier. Number 5. Don't go during Sturgis Tight turns, 45 to 55 mile per hour speed restrictions, and adorable small gas stations and convenience stores can all be found in the Black Hills. A significant factor of why Sturgis has grown to be such a significant rally is the beauty and geography of the area. The state's southern region is covered by the enormous Black Hills National Forest, but with so many people around, it can be difficult to enjoy it. You should go to Sturgis if you're riding a motorcycle, since it's a solo adventure, just not during Sturgis. Visit the Black Hills on horseback during a different season. Moreover, Sturgis is an expensive place to visit. Everything. You may anticipate paying admission if you wish to visit any of the numerous state and national parks. These parks offer great scenery, so you may want to consider getting an annual pass, especially in the case of national parks. Admission is also required to enter the Crazy Horse Memorial, which has gained prominence over time. Take advantage of the discounted rates on hotels. One of our favorite journeys was taking US Route 385 from Mount Rushmore to Deadwood. Cell phone coverage is lost in the Highlands, which is both good and bad. It could lead to a horrible or fantastic day. Now, most of the fun is during the Sturgis Rally. But if you really want to get the feel of the place, then visiting it during off days would be a really great idea. But if you're a true motorcycle enthusiast, then, well, going somewhere full of fellow bikers is something that you're really going to enjoy. So, that's all the time we had today, folks. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to remain updated about all of our future videos. Adios!